drag this one up and over. Okay. Copy it right there. Alright. This is looking pretty good. Lastly, just to add a bit more style, create a box right here, bring it up till it encompasses all of those. Uh, convert to editable poly, grab all these edges right here, don't get the bottom ones. Uh, and you're going to want to chamfer them just a bit. That'll be like a stabilizer or something. Okay, um, a junction box. So copy that spline over. Okay, go into the vertex mode, select this vertex here. Just drag it over, select this one, and drag it about here. Then you're going to want to rotate it a bit. Okay, and create a box right here. And make sure that it sinks in. Alright, convert to editable poly edge and chamfer that. Okay. And let's see, we can use this same cylinder here as a connector piece. Rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. And sink it right back in there and position. There, that looks pretty good. Alright, mm, let's see. Just take one of these, effective only, center to object, copy it, rotate 90 degrees, and bring it to the corner here, uh, sink it in, Oops. Right. Uh, sink it in a bit, All right, and copy it to the other corner, and make this one a bit smaller, so it doesn't hit. And I believe that our engine is done. Sign it a gray material. Make sure it's all black. Um, let's see. Is there anything else we can do? Here? Well. Let's add some cylinders over here. Bring their sides up to about 20. Convert to editable poly, polygon. Select that. Um, hinge from edge, pick hinge. Just pick really any of the hinges. Go to about uh, 45 degrees and make it have four segments. Alright, inset that polygon. Okay, uh, bevel it inward a bit. Hinge from edge, pick hinge. Pick the same hinge. Bring it back negative 45. And just extrude back. Okay, um, and just copy that once more and rotate them to give them a bit of variation okay and we can make those gray as well and black And that is the end of the engine. That was a big part.
All right, let's get started working on uh, this little inside back piece. Select it, and we can actually isolate this by right-clicking and going to isolate, which doesn't actually exist on mine. So isolate this. Okay, and let's start working on the back piece here. So go to edge, select these, connect, slide it to about here. These two connect zero. Oops. And then give it two connections. Like that, 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 like that. go. Connect that with actually cancel that. There seems to be more than one line here. Okay, delete that polygon border cap. Go to edge Delete that edge, delete that edge, go to polygon, create, get that vertex, that vertex, that vertex, that vertex, and go here, 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 and here. Okay, now let's see if this works. So that one, that one, that one, that one. That one and this one. Connect. That still doesn't work. Hmm. Alright, we'll just do it manually. So, hit OK. Select that and that. Connect. Um, actually, cancel. Set that and that. Connect it once. Select that and that. Oops. And connect it once. And then just even these out about the same. Use your, oops. Use your scale tool on the line. Scale it. The Z axis. And select this, scale that one, select both those edges, connect, and connect those twice. Okay. Next, select all these, inset about 2.3, scale it down just a bit. Okay. Um, bevel by group, bevel it inward a bit, okay, next, uh, inset by polygon, just a bit, extrude outward uh, by polygon, about 1.17 and bevel by polygon a bit more okay next let's add cylinders here so create a cylinder drag it out convert to edge of poly polygons like that um, let's see Bevel, bevel it inward, okay, and set, and extrude a tiny bit, select the edges, chamfer, chamfer them in, select that edge, loop, chamfer 